Hello everyone, how you doing? Um, sorry it's been a while since I've done an update. Um, kind of life's been pretty good and I've kind of used YouTube as therapy up until now. And I kind of have been having a lot of a lot of success in therapy otherwise. So I know I've been absent, but I kind of wanted to clue everyone in as to what's been going on with my life. It's been pretty much all good and um, let me think, what do I got here? Um, oh yeah, I think um, I talked previously in one of my last videos that I was going to go visit a whole bunch of family um, down, you know, where I grew up and see all my aunts and see, see uncles and cousins. And um, it went far better than I ever could have hoped for. Um, truthfully, I was incredibly surprised. I was really expecting it to have a lot more um, a lot more issues, a lot more questions, a lot more misunderstanding. Um, everyone just seemed to be happy to see me. You know, I'd sort of disappeared for about a decade. Didn't totally cut off contact, but I definitely was was very, very absent. And so it was nice to kind of work my way back into the fold, so to speak, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was incredibly awesome. I also got to meet my girlfriends family and like her friends that she kicked around with down in San Diego and it was amazing to 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 like visit the tenderloin down there and and see the queer community down there and it was just a, a great a great time um oh yeah therapy uh, kind of back to that it's been really really good I've worked through a lot of stuff I've come to terms with most of my my hurdles that I kind of was facing, you know, I put to bed a whole bunch of family stuff, thank God. Um, I've really come to like, enjoy nail polish and makeup and, you know, not all the makeup, but like the eyeliner and a little bit of eyeshadow and I'm just having fun with it. And, and that's new. It's, it's crazy to, to just enjoy something that I always wanted to enjoy, but I was too scared to enjoy. And I know I'm like way late to the party, and this is like the first thing most people tinker with. A lot of times they tinker with it before they even come to terms with with being trans, but it just was not someplace I never let myself go. And it's been really nice to let myself go there and just enjoy it and, and do it for me and and mostly not feel self-conscious about it in public. Like I just don't care anymore, and that's 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 amazing. Now, it's not like I don't care. It's like, it's me. It's just part of me. It's part of, of who I am. It's part of the way I present myself. Um, and it's, it's, it's inherently me. And like, once I co-opted that as a thought, like, it's been great. Um, I've been, I've been having a wonderful experience just easing my way into all of this. And yeah, it's been at my own pace. It's been different than most. And you know what, that's okay. Every story is different and, and this is how I had to get through this and, and God it's all it's all coming together and like it's freaking amazing. You know, with like all of that, with like talking to my therapist, getting a lot of that stuff taken care of, getting a whole bunch of self confidence, you know, from going and seeing my family and some friends growing up and all of that, um you know, I, I decided to reach out to a whole bunch of my old um, army buddies from about 10 years, 12 years ago. Um, and the response has been incredible, to be perfectly honest. Incredible is the right word. They, they've, they've all been so just understanding and happy to hear from me and not, you know, non-judgmental and not everyone reconnected, but the ones that mattered to me did. And, and that was important to me. Um, you know, some of them reached out to ask how they can, you know, better better serve their soldiers that are under their command. And and that's awesome to that they're, they care that much and that they're just asking for feedback. Like, hey, you know, now that I now that I know someone who's trans, like, how do I help? Like, how do I do this better? And that wasn't the response I was expecting. Um, and it was very, very positive. Um, I, I have been doing voice therapy and 
it's it's been rough um i never had any music training i never had anything like that i love my voice therapist you know we're not far into therapy um we're working on the fundamentals and you know i'm okay with taking my time at this so like i said not much to report there but i feel like i'm getting somewhere maybe not like in my everyday voice that i use but definitely in training and when i'm practicing i just don't know how to put all the pieces together yet and that's that's what we're working on now um i lost 20 pounds i have been actively dieting and watching what i eat and improving like the quality of what i eat and i feel better i'm much much happier with like where i'm at i still feel like i have 20 or so pounds that i want to lose but that's just to get down to my ideal weight and and just i'm happy with the progress that i'm making and i'm not trying to rush it you know i, I want it to be a healthy i want i don't i don't want to push too hard um that leads to unhealthy thought processes as well as just kind of feeling like crap so like i'm not trying to do that i'm just doing a mild calorie deficit and a little extra exercise and it's been it's worked well um i don't really have any complaints think what else did i do oh um i went ahead and i finally addressed the fact that i have adhd um it has been a thing for a very long time um i spent a long time learning to cope with it as a thing you know it's been i was raised to work around it treat it like a quote unquote like superpower i mean that's silly to call it a superpower um but it can be but it can also really affect the way that your day-to-day -day goes um so i went ahead and i talked to my therapist about it i talked to my doctor about it um we decided to to give adderall an attempt after um, me not taking it for 27 28 years something to that effect and i was on i was on add medication when i was a child for about 20 minutes i was like i think they tried it for a week and that was what prompted me to get homeschooled but you know i always stayed away from it and i decided to you know with all this self-reflection with all this introspection like with all of this i've been doing you know, I've been more willing to ask the questions. And, you know, this is this was one of those questions that I'd avoided for a very long time. It's helped my productivity, um, but mostly it's 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 calmed everything down a little bit to the point where, you know, it, my head doesn't feel like a bag of cats anymore. You know, I can focus more readily on the things that I enjoy and also the things that I need to do. Um, so it's been a win-win on that front. I, I have really, really no complaints about that. Um, all my labs have been great. Um, I had my Orky, you know, like we talked about. Um, what was that? Oh, goodness. Look at the, about nine months ago? Yeah, about nine months ago. Um, absolutely have nothing but great things to say about it. Um, it, it changed the way that I view myself it changed the way that i view things in in the bedroom it changed the way that um what i can wear um at least comfortably it's been it's been incredibly positive and i have no regrets i every time i think about it i just sit there and i smile because i'm like yep no longer have to deal with those that is a great feeling at least for me specifically that was a uh, a point of dysphoria for me more than more than a lot of what i was dealing with like that was a big point of dysphoria um you know moving on to big points of dysphoria um i had my ffs consult that's facial feminization sur surgery um i went and i spoke to a very a very good surgeon that is, is well regarded in the seattle area and um I feel really good about working with him. Um, we're going with a, I, I want to look like I'm part of my family, <clears throat> excuse me, but, you know, I just want to move the needle further into the feminine range. I feel like HRT has done 
wonders for 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 me like it's it's truthfully surprising like i did not expect this much i went in with low expectations of you know what what could be possible and more has happened as far as like changes as far as feeling more comfortable with myself you know i see her in the mirror you know almost exclusively now it's been wonderful um but you know with that has also come like the drive to push the needle the rest of the way you know i i do present a little more in a tomboy appearance and that moves the needle back a couple pegs in in the way people perceive you in some ways um and it's sort of like that little mental check you do of yep 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 oh okay that um it it does it does color that mental check for people so i want and do you know believe that it's something that i truly need to do for me um i'm, I'm, I'm pursuing facial feminization surgery um, i have a date for you know ne uh, the end of june of next year um, we're doing jaw work brow work nose work uh, hairline work and a handful of other things that pretty much everything's being massaged a bit some more than others but we're still trying to keep it within reason you know we're not trying to change my entire aesthetic we're just trying to soften everything a few points you know i don't i did i like where the direction i'm going i just want to bring it a little bit further in that same direction and I, I feel like the surgeon understands that and i'm comfortable with him most importantly it's gonna be a rough one i'm it's gonna suck but i absolutely believe it's gonna be worth it and it's gonna improve my my quality of life and, and my comfort and my confidence and and all of that thankfully like i have totally embodied the like yes i am a woman straight up full stop you know this is a thing you know but with that like with that acceptance comes like the harsh realization that i'm also i was i was also i don't want to say gifted because it wasn't a gift but i was also subjected to testosterone exposure and that just does some things on a fundamental level for some people more than others um that i i feel i know i want to work on so i'm excited like i'm incredibly excited i can't wait to get this taken care of you know i i'm pleased with the doctor nothing no complaints there can't wait um with that said i also have all my other referrals out there and that's great news i have top surgery referrals um I have bottom surgery referrals. Um, both of those are already scheduled. I should get a referral in. Well, not, they're not technically scheduled. I'm on the wait list. And so they're going to be reaching out shortly to give me the date where I'll have my referral date. But they said January or February for my bottom surgery consult. And then it will be um, quite a bit later. It's the same office. Um, that I would like to get top surgery done through. And they said that will be late summer to like fall. Um, I'll get the referral. And then so we'd be looking at early 2024 for both, hopefully. Um, I might go elsewhere for top surgery because that is a long wait. It's not the primary thing he does. Um, but I don't really have a better option yet. So until then, um, I do like I, I do like the results for both bottom surgery and top surgery from the surgeon that I have referrals out for. Um, there's also electrolysis referrals out. Um, I did do seven sessions of laser, and that worked incredibly well. I could not be happier. Um, however, because I'm like a dirty blonde territory, I have some darks and I have some lights. And it did not zap the bleach blonde hairs and the thing and and the very light blonde hairs. Um, you know what though? It's been a much better experience. You know, I still shave a couple times a day. Um, it's still a thing. 
Um, that is not going to stop until electrolysis happens. But I don't get the 5 o'clock shadow. The only person that notices it is me. Um, that feels like a pretty big deal to me. Um, I appreciate that very much. And I really, really think that that's, like, it was worth the investment. Even though insurance covers it, you know, electrolysis, and I went out of pocket for laser, um, I felt like that that was enough of a reprieve from all of that dysphoria that it, it was truly worth it. True, And also, it did make the, um, it is going to make the electrolysis a lot more, like bearable because I got probably 70% reduction and so instead of 100% of the hairs electrolysis should only have to remove around 30% of the hairs I'll call that a win I think that's pretty good um I think such as the laser referrals are out FFS was scheduled um labs were all great start time roll I mean truthfully that's that's all I wrote down, and I just wanted to update everyone and tell everyone that I'm doing okay, and I'm doing more than okay. And um, sorry for falling off the radar, but like this is one of those situations like I'm doing great, um, and you know I kind of was just living my life to a certain extent. Um, oh, there is one thing though I have gotten most of my sleep done, and I am very 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 pleased with the way it turned out. I put. Um, I am proud of my time in the service, so I put a couple of military coins in there. It is. It still needs a touch up, and there's still some. Um, is it, it's blue in here that needs to be done. But yeah, this has all been kind of pumped up. This has all been. Um, it, it. He's he's done a great a great job. I'm incredibly happy with with where we've gone with it. Um, that was a great experience. Um, to be perfectly honest, all by itself, um, you know, I got to put myself in a position where I had to sit in a chair with someone for six or eight hours. Um, well, it was more like four-hour sessions, but I'd sit in a chair for four hours. You know, he's a libertarian. I lean very left. You know, we do have differing views and and had to have, but we had good faith conversations. So while it did get close to being in poor taste, it was it did not come from a place of malice and i was able to talk through and just kind of have i don't want to say be forced to defend my existence because that's not where we were going but but clarify like what trans is clarify some things and 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 have to put myself in the position to to be you know to be able to make a friend that has different views and truthfully, that he has become a friend of mine. He he's he's a really good person. Um, we don't agree on everything, um, but we agree on the things that matter. And I want to say, I, I imagine that in small part that might be because you know I had the conversations with him. I put myself out there and was willing to to deal with an unknown unknown of an artist that had a reputation for leaning a little bit right. Um, but I liked his work. I liked his art, and I felt good when I went in for my consult. So, you know, I went ahead and I went for it, and it truly was a very beneficial thing to do. And I got a friendship out of it. I got some really good ink out of it, in my opinion. Um, and I'm going to keep on going back. I kind of fall, fell in love with the shop, and girlfriend cooked food for him and all funds all, all sorts of fun stuff and you know we kind of I kind of created some friendships that I was not expecting to create so bottom line is things are great I haven't had enough to talk about like there hadn't like, I've been using this as therapy and and honestly I need to shift from using it as therapy to using it as ways to kind of update y'all and take you along for this ride and and it, it's it, it's a much more positive thing now and it feels like a more positive thing now and that's pretty awesome and i can't wait to to see where this goes you know don't know when i'm going to update again but i like very positive not 
you know, not the negative sort of updates or you know, they were negative, but, you know, shrouded in. I hadn't quite worked through old stuff yet in therapy, and I feel like I've got to a point where this can just be fun now. You're no longer part of therapy. So thank you all for tagging along for the ride. Thank you all for being my therapist for the first little bit. And, you know, now let's just hang out and I'll share my journey. There'll be some, there'll be some downs, but I'm pretty confident that there's a tonal shift happening in both my life and in the YouTube channel. So thanks for sticking around thus far. I will talk to you the next time I talk to you. Thank you so much.